Fellas, how well do you think you know your neighbors? The people living around you in your immediate vicinity. Are you familiar with them? Do you know their names, their passions? Probably not. But I've got a great social media platform where you can find out more about them. Welcome to Nextdoor.com. Nextdoor.com is a great site where all of your neighbors come together and it's basically like a Facebook, but for people in an immediate community, right? These are the kind of people that will complain about a dog walking around the neighborhood or a guy driving slow in a cul-de-sac, all kinds of stuff. This, this subreddit, our next door has some of the most unhinged posts in next door history and I have tasked someone with getting me only the best. We're going to go through some next door submissions and see what people are going uh, what people are doing in the old neighborhood, okay? What's going on in your backyard? Let's find out. Shall we? Cat smells of cigarettes. <laughs> Tonight my cat Simon came home reeking like cigarettes. I know he likes to wander the neighborhood visiting people. But my son and I are very sensitive to the smell of smoke. So if you're a smoker, don't let him in your house. Is this your cat? Late last night, I heard a strange sound coming from our kitchen area and thought someone could have stuck into my house. I was shocked when I saw a black cat smoking a cigarette. Keep your cat off our property. Oh my god, this cat is a bad influence. The cat is bringing the cigarettes to other people's homes. Holy shit. And again, my favorite thing about next door is that this is a whole argument going on on the smallest social media platform you could imagine. <laughs> I drew this horse. Do you like it? Looking good, Ron. I love it. Yes, cool horse. Which one? Very good. I am a photographer specializing in horses. Did I ask Linda? No need to be nasty. Chill. By the way, your drawing looks like a three-year-old did it. Oh my god, we're getting catty on next door. I mean, Linda was a little bitchy there, but Ron didn't have to be like that. I, th I think that's a lovely drawing. I think Ron might actually be 16. He did the who at, who asked, and everything. I like think Linda's old as hell. This is the place that old people go to war. Next door is like the, the Coliseum. <laughs> Linda trying to flex with her photo. That's true. Linda, Linda definitely tried to show him up on that one. And it's not even a good photo. This is terrible. We have some underage kids smoking on the outside of our fence after hours, and the smoke is bothering my outdoor cats. This again? It's the cat, lady! Post a notice on the fence saying, I know what they're doing. Call the police. Adjust sprinklers and timing to spray over the fence at prime smoking time. Explain to my cats that it's a free country and they should suck it up. This is, again... I can I can smell the Werther's originals off this. This lady is very old and very silly. She's a fun grandma. You could tell by this. Fun and vaguely racist. <laughs> Probably, yeah. Unaccompanied poultry on the city sky sidewalk. Stumbled across this gang of unsupervised chickens milling about the sidewalk. By the way, no call to action here. Nobody here, like, not saying come pick up your chickens or watch out. Just that they exist. Look up a silky chicken. Okay. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> oh, never mind. I like that. <laughs> this is an industry on Etsy. Getting a, a nice a big old headband just for chickens. Anyway, five chickens unaccompanied. Just free if you guys want any. If you guys, if this area looks familiar to you, that guy that's really good at GeoGuessr, you want to pick up five chickens, this is the place to go. Go for it. Should all neighbors be required to mow their lawn twice a week? Apparently, some people don't think it's important to keep their lawn up to reasonable standards, like mowing or maybe pulling a few weeds. Maybe I'm just being a crazy woman, but I think we should take pride in our hood. I'll let you decide. 96% said no. Why don't you mind your own fucking business? The hood in quotations really does sell it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a very clear picture of what this woman looks like. I think my iLife Roomba vacuum went on a walk when the door was open. Anyone seeing a random round robot vac roaming around the streets? I, I think you would hear it, right? How far can it go? <laughs> Cleaning up the hood. Just a rogue Roomba wandering around? We need Roomba drag racing. Unironically, I've had that content idea and I'm way ahead of you. I'm not kidding. Men with left hand hanging out driver's side window while driving. As most men know, driving while having their left hand hanging out of the driver's side window is a signal to other men that they are available for a casual hookup. Is that true? I do this a lot. Um, no? Okay. <laughs> Phew. Tony, like one guy said no. Everybody else said yes. Is it real? Is this true? 
Coney, do you have an upside down pineapple tattoo by chance? Okay, unironically, I found out what the pineapple is, and I was at Old Navy the other day, and they had a pineapple button up. I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. And then I found out what it was, what that means, pineapple clothes. Uh, it... It means something. I have a pineapple shirt. What does it mean? Apparently, pineapple, like, related clothing is strongly tied to uh, swinger culture. Ah, that kind of makes sense. <laughs> a whole sea of why. Why pineapples? Why would they do that? And then one guy, oh, I get it. Pineapples. I recently had several men hang their left hand out of the driver's side window to me while I was working in the yard on my bike. You know who you are, so please knock it off. Everyone knows that I am married and 100% straight. This guy is the main character. Everybody knows that I'm straight. You've all seen my smoking hot wife. Please stop hitting on me when I'm simply trying to mow my lawn. Leave me alone, bikers. <laughs> bee swarm. My bees swarmed. Please send a message if you see a swarm of bees up in a tree, and I will come retrieve them. Jar of Honey is your reward. Thank you kindly. This guy is poo posting. Winnie the Pooh. I'm not telling you if the bee... I'm killing the bees. JRPG quest. This is Blathers. This dude is trying to fill up the museum. Where are my bees? Do bees, like, stick together? Is it like a swarm that all moves together? They are ride or die. Oh, they go with the queen? Wait, can queen bees fly? Is that a stupid question? I thought queen bees looked like this, but like a bee. <laughs> now it's a stupid question. That's a fictional enemy in a video game. No, but you know what I'm saying, right? Is anyone missing a German shepherd pup and a black and white goat? They showed up at our house this morning. They appear to be together on an adventure. Did they leave together or did they find each other? This is a homeward bound moment, I think. It's a... Do animals make friends like this? Herd mentality, dogs, herd, goat, sheep. Do all of them do it? I didn't know German Shepherds do it. It has shepherd in the name. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> huh. <laughs> well, we're not in Germany. We're at Summit Terrace near Wild Iris Ridge, so I didn't think that I didn't think that mattered. Aaron Everett, gunshot. If you just heard a gunshot, it was me and it was <laughs> Bro posted evidence to the next door timeline. Aaron, that shit is exhibit A. What happened here, Aaron? My bad, y'all. Posted in 20 neighborhoods. I didn't notice that. How loud was that gun? Why did everybody need to hear that? This is everybody in the Tri-County area. He fired the shit that killed Shinzo Abe. Guys, if you heard a gunshot, it was an accident. I did not kill the Prime Minister of Japan, just to be clear. Was not me with the doohickey. I did not do that. Today, I was standing outside on my porch enjoying the sunshine when I heard a faint toot down the road. My ears perked up and I got very excited. I thought it was the ice cream truck. To my dismay, it was a cell phone ringer. Please be courteous to your neighbors and not choose ringers that sound like ice cream trucks. I had to take the rest of the day off work to recover. Okay, I know this is a joke. This is a very funny guy on next door, but look at the response, dude. This killed. This guy popped off. This guy could make revenue on next door. This ice cream truck guy is so funny. He's everybody's favorite. Coney, what guy are you? I, 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 I hide my power level, but if these guys in my neighborhood knew that I was a video game guy, oh my God. Hey, Coney. Oh my God. They, don't call me Coney. They would think I was the gamer dad. And sometimes I get scared. We were outside today. I was actually mowing my lawn today. And my daughter was playing outside and she was pretending to be Mario. And I had to be like, whoa, whoa, hey, take it easy. She was jumping around the yard saying, Yahoo, yippee, wahoo. I was like, hey, stop. You gotta find out. We must never let them know. Now she keeps telling me to be Bowser and chase her around. She wants me to be Bowser and chase her. It is very cute, but not in public. Just say she liked the movie. Yeah, but why did she like the movie? Oh, is it because you play video games for a living? Is it because you've been playing video games your entire life and now you're projecting that onto your daughter? You're giving her your personality because that's the type of parent you are? That's the conversation I don't want to have. Starting her off young, right? So she knows the classics, LOL. I'm not trying to be a Star Wars parent. Everyone is Sherlock Holmes and you're next door. Yeah, people are investigatory. Last Tuesday, our home was burglarized. That's all the details I want to give at this time until 
More investigation is done. If you would stop parading around in your furs and diamonds, this may not have happened. Holy shit. Is this person walking down the street every day in furs and diamonds in the middle of July? One thing. Hey, you can't tell it like it is on next door anymore. You only get one thing. You get 15 thanks for being a victim and one thank for speaking the truth. This person hated that person. I don't think this person is the burglar, but I think they were waiting for the day this person got burgled. I hope somebody breaks into their home and steals all their shit. I can't wait for that to happen to them. Hey, I know that this is a very common internet thing that people make jokes about and they know, why the fuck is everybody's phone almost dead? Do people live like this? Every time I see like a screenshot posted on the internet, the phone is is hanging on for dear life. Screenshots take a lot of battery power. You think you pop a screenshot and pfft. What is your battery at right now? Type in chat. Mobile friends only. 10%? <laughs> How do I make your battery run out faster? What if I'm really loud? Does that make it go out? Does it like need to produce more power to make sound? Make the screen brighter? Oh, that's a good idea. So, theoretically, if I did this, then your, pho your phone is gonna die. I'm gonna lose viewers for this. My viewer count is gonna drop as people's phone died. You're gonna lose viewers, all right? Yeah, because all their phones died. That's why. My wife locked me out of the house. I have diarrhea. Can someone please help me? This is not a joke. Please, please help me. Oh, no. Oh, no. He done dropped his phone. Oh, no. Oh, it's over for this guy. Two hours later? Oh, my God. Bro is just dumping for hours and hours. Look at this guy. This guy cannot believe what he's reading. This is the most scandalous thing ever posted to Nextdoor. What did he do to make his wife that mad? That's it. <laughs> Ladies, waste his time 2023. Feed your husband a fuck ton of laxatives and then lock him outside. New TikTok challenge. Hashtag waste his time 2023. Does anyone know what this is? Hey, neighbors, I'm a first-time home buyer, and I notice a weird sound coming from the system in my house for two minutes, and finally it rings like a bell and stops. Is there anything I should check or worry about? Doorbell. <laughs> okay, in his defense, some doorbells <laughs> sound kind of weird, right? Doorbells be sounding like NES music these days. Dude, our, so we moved, and our new washer and dryer, when it goes off, like, when the dryer is done, it sounds like a f fucking Mega Man 2 theme. The Samsung jingle? Yes, that one! Wait, so everybody knows this? The Samsung one? <laughs> Why are there so many bars? It sounds like a sea shanty, right? Doesn't that sound like a Popeye ass song? For 34 seconds, it's playing you this tune. I kind of love it. It's annoying. Mouse in a hot pink sweater. This is a serious post, no matter how ridiculous it's about the sound. If anyone happens to see a common field mouse run by in a hot pink sweater, please disregard. My daughter thought, thought it was smart to save a mouse from her cats today and named it Princess Karen and put it in a hot pink sweater. It then jumped after it was put in set sweater and escaped. We do not want it back. We do not want it as a pet. This is a Stuart Little moment. This cat, this mouse is about to go on some serious adventures. Get a little RC car. Coney, who will win in a fight? Stuart Little or Remy Ratatouille? Oh, dude, Stuart Little. I think Stuart has had more hardships. Remy was just hungry. Remy wins? No, 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 no. Remy clears. What the fuck? Are you kidding? No, Stuart wins. Remy controls humans. No humans allowed. Wait, Remy's a rat. Never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. Stuart Little is a mouse. Remy wins. That's it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. No, you're right, you're right, you're right. Rats are way bigger than mice. He's a mouse with a car? Yeah, but if if Stuart gets the car, then Remy gets Linguini. And that's not fair. Stuart isn't a child, is he? He can drive. Didn't he go to school? I don't fucking know. I don't know when I saw Stuart Little last. Probably when it came out. He has a bird girlfriend. Is that true? That seems like a Twilight situation. Why does the bird have aviator goggles, dude? Why is this an Amelia Earhart bird? Why does she have a scarf so you know she's she flies? She's a pilot. I guess why does Stuart have a hoodie? Mysterious bath. I think someone broke into my house and gave my dog a bath. She smells fresh and clean, and I know it wasn't me. 
It's kind of freaking me out. Has anyone else's dogs been given mysterious bats by unknown burglars? Okay, this is silly, but I had somebody mow my lawn two weeks ago, and I don't know who did it. Not a joke. I could see, like, if the dog got out, right? Like, if the dog got out and, like, jumped a fence or something, and some lady was washing their own dog, and the dog got excited and then jumped in. This could happen. I started pretending to be an old man on the app, and my neighbors not only believe it, they love it. Hey, neighbors, isn't this horse just ridiculous? Thought you guys should see this, too. This horse is out of control! <laughs> just kidding, he's a good horse. Hello, Wilbur. He's calling the hogs. I love riding. Anyone in riding club? Can we stay on focus here, buddy? Let's not divert the conversation. We're talking about this horse. Hey, say hello to Bingus. He's so fat and crazy. Love you, Bingus. I fell over earlier this morning, but I'm okay. <laughs> Cute. Seriously, what breed of cat is Bingus? He is a sphinx and just one big old stink. Ha <laughs> ha. You really did infiltrate the old people community. Damn, he's, he's really one of them. Old people are so good, man. Not, not always. <laughs> Not always. Old people, uh, <laughs> they really run the gamut. They really do. D Wait, what? Missing swarm of bees. If you're surprised to have about 30,000 bees on your property, let us know and he will come get them. Here's a photo of 20% of the population. This is the second bee escape. More fucking bees? That is a fifth of the population. Bees be running away. Well, how do you stop them? What are you gonna do to stop them? They gotta, they gotta live in their house. Bro, I would hate this neighbor. I, does, does this, do I have any beekeepers in chat? There's 1350 people in here. Surely one of y'all got bees. Can confirm I keep bees. Neighbors hate me breaking in their backyards to catch my runaway bees. I, I'm imagining a beekeeper that has to get every single bee that gets lost. Just running into everybody's yard with like a net. Like an Animal Crossing character having to catch each and every one. Just heard a plane. 522 Monday, 316 2020. Read, but don't reply in any way. No responses, please. Cheryl. Jules asked very politely. Said please in everything. Do not respond. She heard a plane. Do not engage with this post. Let it go down the timeline. I just had to let people know. Do you think it's chemtrails? It might be. It might be ki Oh, wait, you think she... Th ah, I see what you're saying. She's warning people to stay in their homes and not get the government gas chemtrails 5 a.m chemtrail plane yeah, yeah yeah need immediate help my friends were helping get a sofa downstairs at our new house not any sofa but one shaped like big lips they were determined to make it happen and they jammed it through the opening and it is stuck stop laughing but seriously my friend is stuck downstairs and we've tried everything to get it back out or down it is not going anywhere does anyone know how to rescue my friend from the basement and get the lip sofa out of the doorway? Oh my god, that person's gonna starve to death. This is how you go out? <laughs> Stuck behind the lip sofa? What do you do here, actually? Because that shit looks like it, it can't come apart. If you can get it stuck, you can get it unstuck. You should call up uh, our friend. Oh, if you had their name, you could. You could save that person. Farting in my mailbox. Someone keeps farting in my mailbox late at night. I can hear it outside the window, and I smell it every time I check my mail. This is getting old and extremely childish. My bills and coupons smell so bad I can't even pay them or use them at the grocery store. Anyone in the neighborhood, please keep an eye out. I'm going to buy a ring camera. My grandson Dustin will put it together. Thank you all. And this is not a joke. Somebody is fucking with this grandpa hard. If you're gonna fart in somebody's mailbox, why not just poop? No evidence. Yeah, actually, wait a minute. Yeah, because the USPS, like, that's actually a crime. That's a felony tampering with mail, so. DNA? Tri well, farts are deep. Well, I guess by the time the, the detective gets there. Is there fart DNA? This is so dumb. Well, it's because of the post. The post is making me think of it. What's killing me is that he, he hears it outside his window at night. You're about to go to bed, right? You're drifting off into sleep, laying down after a big day, and then you just hear, like, a little... <laughs> that one's also very silly. I just wanted a normal fart sound effect. We need a serious fart. Yeah, like a normal fart. <laughs> it's not that one. There's a lot of evidence on this one. <laughs> if it's that one, there you fucked up all his coupons. He can't use any of those coupons at all. 
You might need to buy a new mailbox. <laughs> Somebody in chat said this and now I can't stop thinking about it. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's clearly the chair. It is clearly the chair. But oh my god. That is the funniest thing I've ever heard. Is it though? It should be. There's no way that was him. It sounded like a chainsaw that ran out of gas. <laughs> Sounds like a thwomp. Look at his face that's not the chair. God, I th that is the face of a guy whose chair just made an awful sound. That's his face. Not, oh my god, I just farted, how embarrassing. It's, oh my god, my stream thinks I farted, how embarrassing. What time does Olive Garden close? Google says they close at 11 on Saturdays, but you should call first just in case. Thank you, Jake. My granddaughter works at Olive Garden and has to work late to help you selfish people. Shut up, Todd. <laughs> okay. I don't know why we're fighting in the, in the next door comments. No reason to get like this. Poor Todd thinking about his granddaughter. She has to be there until 11. My poor baby. You selfish fuck Richard trying to go to Olive Garden at 1015. You bastard. A question. What does love feel like? One smile. One thank. Coney, do you think you've contributed to a couple meeting? No. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't think anybody has met through Coney streams. I would love to be proven wrong. Do you think love can bloom in a Coney chat? What about on Coney YouTube? Have you guys ever met from my YouTube? Comment below. Find your love in the comment below. I live in Memphis. The all caps. Someone please come. Someone please be from Memphis. Two glowfish, one green and one blue. Free to fish loving home. Sorry about picture, have no picture of fish. You know, I thought they just uploaded the wrong picture, but uh, I guess they just had an animal picture. It was attention grabbing. It worked. I would not have read this far if I didn't have a different picture up there. Coney, did you know that squirrels are immune to fall damage? Really? Oh my god. Ah! Ah! Whoa! Oh shit, what the hell? What? Bro. Oh my god, he jumps out. He doesn't oh even my god, go. Oh girl, my boy. god, dude. How high is that? Why is this one tree a hundred feet? Oh my, oh my god, flying squirrel, boy. Dude, that sound it makes. I got a flying squirrel, boy. Whoa. Oh shit, what the hell? This is over the hedge ass sequence. Runs through the legs of two different people. <laughs> Get that squirrel. It knows too much. Oh, shit, what the hell? <laughs> Random outburst from Mike. Get a life. Quit sending me these. Get a life and quit reading this crap. Lots of people with nothing better to do. Idiots all. Yeah, get off next door. Get a life. And get off this video. I'm done. Get the hell out of your house. Go do something outside. Idiot, lazy ass. But subscribe before you do. Otherwise, you're going to miss the next video. Go get a life and then come back and watch the next video. And also like it. And watch all the other videos always. Say goodbye before you go. Don't be rude. Look at all these people saying goodbye. You want to say bye to them too. Goodbye. It'd be very rude if you didn't.